You are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Thank you, Marshall. Scan and go stores. <laughs> Man. You know what? I um I just saw something where uh, Sam's Club is going to start having some scan and go um, stores, right? Basically, scan and go is is basically you go in the store, you scan your stuff, and I guess you pack it or something yourself, and then walk on out. You don't have to deal with uh, takeout. Li- I mean, takeout lines. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting hungry, but um, checkout lines, right? And, you know, Amazon was already doing something like that, experimenting with a grocery store like that. And it's just small now, but, you know, we got to think about these things. You know, we got to think about these things. It's part of the reason why I'm very strong on entrepreneurship and people really developing their talents. A lot of the jobs that we used to could get. We used to could get, you know, we, you know, people used to could just go to the local factory, you know. They used to maybe could go to the large department store, but, you know, that's being taken out by online. Now, like grocery stores, uh, I mean, that was like the last, one of the last bastions. And they were cutting back on people anyway. I remember years ago when I went into a grocery store and I started noticing the self-checkout lines. And I refused to use them at first. Notice I said at first. But And I'll get into that in a second. But I refuse to use them at first because I said it would take people's jobs. But the thing is, like I said, I use them now regularly. But even now, every now and then, even if I have a few things, I might get in someone's line. Even if I got to wait a few minutes just to give them jobs. Plus, at my local grocery store, the self-checkouts be breaking down all the time. Like the, I'm a friend with a clerk that works. Uh, you know, you have that one clerk there, <laughs> and you know, got the door because I always had to call her over because she had to fix the machine. <laughs> but they'll perfect that. But I've noticed as they get these, more, as they get these more scanning goals, they're gonna lead. They they're not even gonna need checkout people. You know, you just need somebody. It's gonna get to a point. Cause it's small now, but in ten years they might just have they might just have one person there, a couple people there, just to help you if you need to find something walking around. Maybe some security, to make sure somebody don't steal something, which you know is going to happen. You know. But other than that, you putting a lot of people out of work. Because even with automation, robots, they might get to the point they might not even need people to stock the stock the place. And we got to think about this because, you know, I know everybody says cool with technology, but, you know, we don't have, I haven't seen, I have yet to see something that, like, might help the masses as far as jobs. Now, if you're upper class or if you're skilled, especially in STEM, oh, you, shoot, that's the perfect time for you. And, you know, I advise people to get into that, you know, get into that. If you don't know anything else, like a special interest in something else, definitely get into some type of STEM. Get into programming, get into coding and everything, right? Definitely get into that because everything is going becoming so automated, like the people who coding and stuff, they're going to be the ones to make the money. Now, you still got other things, as I've discussed in other podcasts. You still got other things out there. But sometimes you got to you gotta like look at something now and be able to project in the future. Like, I wish, like back when smartphones first came out, I had seen uh, like some article or something where I could see the impact that it would have. But I don't recall seeing anything. I barely, I mean, when they first came out, it was just, oh, yeah, smartphones. Yeah. You know, everybody was still using those Nokias and stuff, those old cell phones. But you don't see. Now you look at it, it's like you you bigger. Look, it's like this. If I got the technology, you know it's up there because I'm a a late adopter. I do not early adopt anything. And that's just my personality. I'm, I'm slow about it. I don't do something until I have to do it. You know, I don't buy something just to be trendy. But even then, it's getting, you know, the scanning goes. I mean, they'll they'll probably start doing it like on a small basis. 
Because, you know, some the part of the issue is people are not, some people still want to deal with clerks and, you know, believe it or not, smartphones still haven't reached a saturation point anyway. A lot of people still don't have them, especially older folks. Older folks and some poor folks, they don't have them. And that is, I mean, that is what it is. I mean, it costs so much and you need credit and all of that. But don't think that won't change. Don't think somebody gets smart and say, hold up. We, in fact, they've already done that. They'll say, hey, we got all these companies up here that can get you something real inexpensive. Get you one of those Obama phones or, I don't know, maybe they call them uh, Trump phones now. I don't know. Get you something from the government. But as everything grows and then the smartphones grow and then they can do more scanning goes and, you know, they'll improve that. Because with the scanning goes, you just scan, get your stuff and, you know, you, you just build your account is built. Shoot. People got to look at that. Now, we're not going to stop the march of technology, but people have to think, all right, well, what's going to happen to these people who bag stuff? Like at my local grocery store, they have a lot of autistic uh Kids working there, young people working there. Uh, and I peep that a whole, I mean, a whole lot, almost. It's like incredible. I mean, and that's something else. That's a completely different subject, like uh, jobs for autistic children, right, or adults, right? But they have a lot working there. What happens to them is it becomes more automated. Or what happens to someone who, you know what, they might not have the education or something. Like, you get a lot of those store clerks and, um, you know, stock clerks and, um, what is that, uh, uh, checkout line for clerks and everything. It's like they didn't require too much of an education for them to get those jobs, yet they make a lot of money. What happens to them? See, and that's the, only, that's the biggest thing I have with all of this. Not that we have the technology, because, I mean, you know. It makes it convenient for the consumer. But are we creating the jobs, like real jobs, sustainable jobs that can help, you know, help somebody, help them live? Because even with, um, even with this thing with, um, you know, the raising the minimum wage, let's raise it to $15. I'm like, those companies that raise the wage to $15 are going to lay off a lot of people. Because they're going, they're going to be like, hey, this is too much money. We can, we can pay, you know, we can pay some programmer to program some machine for us. So, I mean, this is some, this is some stuff to think about. This is some stuff to think about. And, you know, we just got to pay attention to it. And they, like I say, this is why I do this channel. That's why I got this channel up there. Because my thing is, I want, you know, want people to think, want people to think about what they can do, you know. What can you do that's not going to be affected by technology? Also, what you can do that uses the technology, because that's, that's another thing. That's another thing. In fact, uh, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that later. I'm going to talk about it on, that, on the next one. But for the time being, we got to see what's coming and just be ready. You know, it's not going to stop. The march of technology is not going to stop. And quite frankly, it is convenient. It is convenient. And it's like, let's not pretend otherwise. But we still have to think, all right, it's coming. What can we do about it? So anyway, right? And the next time, like I said, I'm going to talk about uh, using this technology. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Peace. Oh.